spot of our day. Glad you're here, Griffin. And uh, what are we working with locally today? I know you got some stuff in the tropics. Yeah. I'm just ready for this this heat oppression to end. Yeah, I know. I want it to end too. I mean, it's it's still dog days of summer. We can call it you know, late August. Still kind of the hottest time of the year on average, with highs in the lower 90s. That's about where we'll be today. Heat index in the upper 90s. So let's talk about what's happening locally first. Live look outside in Birmingham. Nice and quiet start to the day. 74 here in the Magic City right now. All of us in the 70s, with the exception of Talladega, sitting at a nice crisp 68 degrees early this morning. And with the humidity factored in, again, it's going to feel a little bit warmer out there as you head outside this morning. Satellite radar showing not a whole lot going on across the deep south, just a couple tiny little coastal showers down towards New Orleans and Mobile. Talking about your future cast, we'll start to see a couple of pop up showers after lunchtime today. You see those clouds beginning to fill in at around the lunch hour, 12 p.m. Around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, most of our northern counties have the best chance of seeing that rain today. And again, that'll come during the heat of the day. And after sunset, they'll fade away pretty quickly, as they usually do this time of year. And it's a similar story for Friday as well. Those rain chances looking pretty similar at around. Let's say 30, 40 percent for most of the area coming in during the hottest part of the day. The rain chances will be definitely going up as the potential tropical disturbance we're watching comes in Monday and Tuesday. For now, though, that heat index stays pretty high in the upper 90s for the next five days. So, speaking of, let's get to it. We've got three active disturbances out there in the tropics right now. This one's got a low chance of development in the Central Atlantic, and then another one kind of near Bermuda with a high chance of development. This is the most important one in the Caribbean. This one's got a 90% chance of development now over the next two days, and it will be tracking up to the northwest past the Yucatan and past Cuba. Heading into the weekend. Here's what our forecast model does with it tracking northwest past Cuba tomorrow, entering the Gulf of Mexico Saturday and into Sunday. And it will intensify as it enters the Gulf because we're, tra we're talking about really warm waters through here at around 85 degrees. And it only takes around 80 degrees for uh, a potential storm to start intensifying. Now, the exact track is still way up in the air. We're talking about landfall potentially. Sometimes Sunday or Monday, and a lot can change by from now until then. But this could potentially be a strong hurricane that we're looking at here. So we'll be watching it really closely. It really depends on what the track does as far as our impacts goes. But again, anything above 80 degrees supports tropical development. Right now we're at 85. So as soon as it hits the Gulf waters, it will probably start intensifying. So we'll be keeping a really close eye on it over the next couple of days. Our potential impacts will probably come in Monday, Tuesday from this either Ida. Or Julian, whether or not it gets, whether which name it gets will depend on what that other system does. But we'll be watching that very closely. So stay tuned for updates, especially online at CBS42.com. Jack Griffin.